Hey, it's Nikki Thompson and welcome to Tuesday morning. It's raining. I just went for a walk. The clouds were holding and it's been pissing down for days and I haven't been able to go for a walk. So I thought, okay, the clouds are quite high. This is going to hold for 40 minutes. It did not. It held for about 10 to 15 minutes. So just enough to be the absolute furthest away from home. And yeah, we walked back in the pouring rain this morning. Georgia loved it. She was enjoying the walk and the water. Um, stupidly, I gave her a bath last night and blow dried her and made her smell lovely. And now she smells like a wet dog, but she had fun. So, um, and the pool, as you can see, is overflowing almost. Um, it was overflowing on the weekend. We had this epic storm come through um, and it's kind of still lingering, lingering at the moment. Um, and so it's kind of been a crazy kind of start to the school holidays. We're going camping tomorrow, but we're in a cabin. So that's a bonus. And yeah, it's just been kind of all over the place. The kids have been inside a lot. They're with their dads at the moment. So they're um, having fun over there. I don't know what they're doing, but they'll be going a bit crazy in there as well. So, um, but today, so over the weekend, I had some Christmas, I had a Christmas party with my family, um, had some great time with the kids, caught up with some friends, and I had um, an interesting conversation actually with a certain someone. And she made me really think about um, masks. <laughs> <laughs> and this conversation came up from a podcast episode I did a few months ago where I spoke about how I tend to have put a mask on and everything's fine. I'm so good at wearing that mask. I'd be a nice smiling Nikki, good girl, do whatever you need done, like happy as all the time, never an issue. Um, life is just amazing. And I was talking in that episode about my perspective and how hard that was because you can't keep it up for such a long time. Um, and when you do, you feel so disconnected from yourself. And I was talking about it from my perspective, but she was coming from others' perspectives. When we wear a mask for such a long time and we wear it um, so well, we don't let other people in. And she was saying that she wanted to help me. She wanted to talk to me. She wanted to be supportive. But by putting on my happy mask, it was kind of like a big barrier saying, fuck off. I don't need any help. I don't want to talk about it. Even though she could tell that I was wearing a mask. And it blew my mind, actually, the perspective of what it's like for the other people around you by you wearing that mask and not being true to yourself is that you can create this massive barrier and this massive kind of fuck off on your head that says you, you're not in, you don't want any help, you're not ready for help. Um, and until you take that mask off and that sign off your forehead, no one is going to be able to help you. And I, I initially when I was chatting to her, I was like, I just felt so unsupported, like no one, no one um, was able to like cared about me like no one wanted to help me and no one offered to help me and all of this stuff and she's like but we were trying but you're wearing this mask and you were pretty much telling everyone to leave you alone not verbally but just by wearing this mask so it just blew my mind to, I didn't even realize and here I was having the opinion and perspective that no one wants to help me no one cares about me like all of this kind of thing for years like really long time no one would help me when the kids were little um, no one would help me through the separation like all of these things and um, and I'm not saying absolutely no one you know I have people that did help me but I didn't realize how strong I was wearing that mask and even those who are close to me weren't able to help me because I wasn't letting them. And I would love for you to think about that for yourself. You know, by wearing these masks, by not being true to yourself, by being the person you think everyone else needs you to be, we are not, people who are close to us are not able to come in. It's building such a solid barrier between you and everybody else that no one can come in. No one can help you. 
and you are just going to continue to have that perspective that no one cares and no one wants to help you and that you're not worthy of help. That was probably a big one for me that I'm not worthy of it. Um, and I also felt like, no, this maybe is just what motherhood is like, that everyone for themselves kind of thing. So I would love for you to think about what masks you are wearing. So my arms getting sore. <laughs> what masks you are wearing and not just think about the implications for yourself because by wearing those masks, we're so disconnected from who we really are um, that we start making decisions based on everyone else's opinions, all those external messages and not from our internal self and what we really want. And then everyone else kind of feels as though there's a huge barrier between you and them and they wanna be part of your life. They wanna help you, they wanna support you, they wanna cheer you on and they just can't because you're not letting them. And when we start to feel as though we are, um, that no one wants to help us and all that kind of stuff, we then start to find evidence that that is true. You know, whatever we have as our belief, we find evidence to support that. So if we feel as though that isn't true, no one wants to help us, we see more evidence that no one's helping me, no one's calling me, no one's coming around. And then we that creates more of a, a strengthening of that belief. And then we continue to find more evidence of that. So we need to start to shift that and look at the masks that we're wearing and look at how you can get, take those off. Take those masks off and not just for yourself to have the life that you really love and one that is fun and full of pleasure and enjoyable on a daily basis, but also to help you connect with those who are close to you um, and form better friendships and relationships with everyone around you because you that's your real self and you're letting people back in. Um, it's such a defense mechanism to be ultra independent. I saw that. It's like a trauma response. And I definitely feel that when my mum passed away, which was 12 years ago, it was a trauma response. Don't let people in. I'm independent. I'm going to do this on my own. Um, I didn't realize how much that was affecting me in every area of my life. And it was definitely a way for me to deal with that grief, but I didn't realize how I, I just dragged that with me for years. So I do want to thank her so much. And I did on the weekend. Um, it was truly... Um, I don't know, it just melted my heart and it was just such a mind-blowing conversation because I really had no idea and I really feel like this message could help other people, especially at this time of year um, when we're starting to see family and friends and if we're feeling as though um, we're not being supportive for the rest of the year or we're not being supportive at this time of year, um, perhaps it's something, the way that you are presenting yourself, perhaps you need to look at how you are being with people um, and is that, is that welcoming? Is that inviting support and help and love and kindness and all of those things? Or are you just kind of repelling people um, from that kind of connection? So I hope you have the most incredible Tuesday enjoying this rain. I really am because we really needed it. And I love the smell of rain. So this morning, I am really going to be curling up with my hot chocolate. And I'm going to be doing some writing today. Um... I've got my mastermind call today. I've got um, one I'm in and one I'm running. So I've got two calls today, um, some client work. And then I've just recorded a heap of podcasts last night. So they got edited and um, they're all loaded up now, ready for 2021. So it's pretty exciting. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye.